with midterms behind you or right around the corner and finals fast approaching, the stress of studying can begin to get to students and while there is a wide variety of ways to study, some are much more effective than others. So I'm going to go over a few tested methods to effectively study. Keep in mind however that everyone learns differently and some of the methods may not necessarily be the best for you. Number 1. Create a schedule. During a week of exams, finding time to study can be a real challenge. Sitting down to a lot study time for your exams can take the stress off and give you a designated time for when to study. Doing so can give you a chance to prioritize when you should be studying certain topics and provide more time to study what you're already having the most trouble with. Number two, go over your notes daily. Taking the time to review your study material daily can help in the long run. Doing so is a much better option as opposed to cramming. Finding some quiet and attempting to explain and teach the material to yourself has been able to help a few students. Once you're able to explain the subject to yourself without checking your notes, you can then move on to the next topic. According to Fremont College, research shows that reviewing new material within 24 hours after hearing it increases your retention of that material significantly. Number 3. Pick your perfect place to study. Your surrounding can heavily affect the way you study and picking your ideal location can make studying easier. Whether it's at your desk, on the porch, or in the closet, your studying location should be somewhere quiet. Shadron State College suggests that while also somewhere quiet, your ideal study location should also be free from any kinds of distractions. Along with this, having necessary items on hand is also suggested. Having snacks, calculators, notebooks, highlighters, etc. on hand can help prevent any distractions that may come about if you were to have to get up and look for the set items. Number four, stay positive. When it comes to studying for exams, it's easy to let the stress get to you and this can easily lead to test anxiety. According to a study done by Agnes S. McDonald titled The Prevalence and Effects of Test Anxiety in School Children, test anxiety can affect 10 to 40% of all students. Sometimes we tend to wait until the last minute to study and we end up cramming for the exams. I personally find it tends to get the job done, but I definitely don't recommend it since it can cause a huge amount of stress. Having a good plan of study can be a big way to keep calm and sustain a positive outlook. And more importantly, remaining calm and keeping a positive outlook can help deter the symptoms of test anxiety. While these steps aren't going to magically fix all of your study problems, following them as well as researching other study tips can help make studying just a little bit easier. Thanks for watching.